It's one of the most comprehensive reports on the use of Lawmakers Development Fund in recent history. 192 lawmakers misused at least 6.1 billion of their pork from 2007 to 2009. Yet days after its release, errors on the Commission and Audit Report were spotted. The report shows former Compostela Valley Representative Manuel Y. Curad Zamora released 3 billion in development funds from 2007 to 2009. It turned out to be clerical error on the part of the Department of Budget and Management, which attributed the Department of Public Works and Highways project in Compostela Valley to Zamora's PDAF. President Benigno Aquino himself spotted another error. An individual identified as Luis Abalos in the report turns out to be former Mandaluyong representative and now Mayor Benhur Abalos. But COA Chair Grace Polidotan points out what the DBM itself has already admitted. It's not COA's fault. I think um, it only validates what we have also said in the report that the uh, record keeping, the monitoring and tracking of DBM at that time at least was very, very uh, sloppy if I may use the term. No, Kasi, I mean, paano ka magkakamali sa isang 3 billion na amount, di ba? COA maintains it tried its best to ensure the veracity of its report. Should that erode confidence in our report? No, I don't think so. Uh, because for one thing, as I said, we went by documents, and that is what auditing is all about. Uh, and I think apart from these three, three errors that the DPM said, uh, this is uh, imputable to the agency, to them, uh, wala naman na silang ibang sinabi pa, no? Budget Secretary Butchabad apologized to Zamora for DBM's clerical error. Tan also apologizes to Zamora, but for something different. Ako, I would apologize for, uh, for, for the shock of his life that he received from that report. But uh, I, I, I think that uh, nagbunga rin positively because, you know, these things are getting exposed. Yun nga lang at his expense. So that's the, por that's the part where I really commiserate with him, yes. Despite the criticism, Stan stands by the integrity of COA's report. She says they have the documents to prove it. It's now up to government to prosecute and the 192 lawmakers to explain. Angela Kasaway, Rappler.